food have you uh, had, had yet, but you will. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. Meatloaf, one of my favorite comfort Absolutely. foods. Absolutely. That with some potatoes, I'm a happy woman. We're going to show you how you can really make a really mean meatloaf by adding some signature ingredients. Chef Tony Nataro, he brings it to us. Hi, this everybody. is his nonstick miracle meatloaf pan. Yes. Now this is fun because you've given us lots of inspiration. You include a cookbook with that's a meatloaf correct. pan that's going to give us 14 different recipes for meatloaf. Absolutely. Up until now I'd only known one. <laughs> Usually everyone just puts some powdered onion mix, mix it together, throw it in the oven. You know what the cool part about this is your imagination is your best chef. This is a Greek Isle stuffing that we put in our recipe book. So the way it works is you put your bottom meats on the bottom, you make a cavity which I'll show you, you stuff it with whatever you happen to like and then you top it and bake it and that flavor from the spinach and the Kalamata olives and the feta cheese just permeates into the meat and you get an absolutely delicious meatloaf that's a a piece on your plate that everyone's going to talk about. I'm going to come right over yes. here and show you one more so everybody can understand exactly what mm. we're doing here. Now this is how simple it is. Oh. We took three burritos <laughs> and this is this is a wow. spicy pork recipe that we use for the meatloaf. Okay. Put the burritos on the inside, put a little salsa verde or whatever you like, top it and bake it because meatloaf doesn't have to be boring. Meatloaf can be gourmet. It's a simple, easy way to do it. Stuffed meatloaf. That's correct. Well, let me show you exactly what you're going to receive because at this clearance price, we're not able to bring it back. $12.96 and on our easy payment plan, wow. you're making amazing meatloaf for $6 and change on your credit card. Correct. All right, here's what you're going to receive. You're going to get your meatloaf pan. You're also going to get the insert with the handles. Here is the lid and then your recipe book with 14 different recipes. We're going to show you how it all works together. So yeah, how it's do really we, simple. How do we load it up? You take your recipe, two thirds of the meats go on the inside. This is actually turkey meat that we did. Okay. So you have two beef, a turkey, a pork and a chicken recipe that I put in there is five, mm -hmm. four glazes and 14 inserts. So we put the insert with the handles in, into Correct. the pan, load in load the meat. Load the meat in. Okay. And then this is a two stage cover that I want everyone to see. You can see this little piece here that's in the middle. What we do with this is you turn it like that, you press it down into the meat, and it actually makes that beautiful cavity for you. Now, I like stuffing, so what I'll do with that is I'll massage it open a little bit more. Okay. You take your favorite stuffing. In this case, we just loaded it up with some delicious cold cuts. You place it oh, down like the center. Oh, it's my favorite Italian hoagie. I mm. love it, exactly. And then you put your next layer of meat on top. I'm just going to show everybody quickly. And then this is where the magic happens again, because you want to seal this. When you turn it over and you press this on top, it brings the meat up the side so it locks everything together. Now you've shaped your loaf, glaze it, pop it into the oven. We're going to take one out here real quick. Let me just show you exactly what you do. And, uh, and on average, about how long do we need to cook these meatloaves? They cook in about 45 minutes to an hour, depending on how much you have in there, because you don't have to make these big, gigantic loaves like I like to okay. do. So one of the hardest things with meatloaf, as you know, because you've done them, is getting it out of the pan. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to take this. We're going to just slide that loaf right off the tray. So can we show everybody what you left inside the pan? Let me go right here so everyone can see it. This is the part that you don't want your meatloaf sitting in. All that extra fat and grease and oils, they stay on the bottom of the pan while your meatloaf rests safely on the top right on side our insert rack. That's why the insert is there. That's exactly right. So now our meatloaf isn't simmering in fat. We're actually cooking it off, draining it out, making it a little, a little bit healthier for us. Correct. And I can't wait to see what's inside this, this is one. Gonna, this is the cold cut one. Oh, I that's right. I want you to I'm see gonna... that. Look oh, at that. There's wow. your cheese, your ham, your salami. You have a plate Yum. right underneath your cord. Mm -hmm. I'll place that on there so everybody can get a good gander of this. Please look at this on the plate because that's not your standard looking meatloaf. No. It becomes a centerpiece. People start talking about it. How did you do that? Now we're back at the family table having mm. family time. Well, they're actually not doing much talking, Chef Tony. Because They'll be doing a eating. lot of eating. You're exactly right. And notice all the delicious glazes. Mm -hmm. Chef Tony gives us recipes Correct. to give us the perfect glaze. Let's turn that open for I, everybody. I want to see more. You want to see more? This right, is one of my inside? favorites. Okay. What I like about it is no one knows what, really what you stuffed it with, so you can kind of keep it a mystery. So you can slice off all your slices, and then once you lift it up, they realize what you did. This is awesome. cordon bleu, so it's asparagus and fresh ham and cheese. Meatloaf Provolone cordon cheese, bleu. you got it. Now, we did this one with beef, but I suggest to use my funky chicken recipe in the cookbook. Okay. Because you have funky, you know, cordon bleu is made with chicken. I call it funky chicken because I have a little twist in my recipe so on the spices. So you get a ground chicken. Exactly. Okay. You use chicken meat, and you can do it with the beef just as well. It's going to taste delicious. But I like the idea. Look at that. If we are maybe counting calories, we're a little health conscious, we're going to use the ground turkeys, the ground chickens. Correct. You give us great recipes. Correct. Um, if you are a traditionalist, I love my red meat 
meatloaf. And what's inside here? Oh, is that an egg in there? Hold on, let me turn this around so everybody can see this. You know this what? is going to blow your mind. I, I have to tell everybody, this is where meatloaf stuff for me started. My <laughs> Aunt Nancy used to take um, fresh ham, her leftover mashed potatoes, some spinach, sun dried tomatoes, and hard boiled eggs, and place it right down the middle of the meatloaf. When I was 14 years old, which was, gosh, 45 years ago, mm -hmm. is when I tasted that for the first time, and I've never forgotten that recipe, and it's in my cookbook. One of my favorite ones, try that with our be beautiful bourbon glaze. Blow your mind. Now, I will tell you, that beats <laughs> my typical signature meatloaf. A bourbon glaze, Absolutely. egg inside. Let me remind you, this is what you're getting for $12.96. You're getting the Miracle Meatloaf Pan. Here's the pan, which you may have something that looks similar to this pan at home. What you Correct. don't have is the insert. This helps to pull that meatloaf out and also to keep it from simmering in the fat. You're also going to get the press. This is the magic. This creates the channel inside so that you can put all your favorite stuffings. And then Chef Tony gives us the secret behind all his uh, meatloaf magic. He gives us the recipes. Absolutely. 14 different meatloafs, five different glazes, and I know you mentioned using different meats. What have you used here? This one we actually did with a blend of pork, mm -hmm. and we used the shoulder, so you have a nice moist pork product. Mm -hmm. But on the inside, America's wonderful favorite. Wait till you see this. Hope everyone's watching. I'm watching. Oh. <laughs> okay, we can Mac just and stop and right there. <laughs> Mac and wait, wait, let me get my plate. Mac yeah, and get a plate for that one. Meatloaf. Now th that's usually a side I would put with my meatloaf. Well, Let's that's just exactly, do it all together. That's gonna be heavy. Wait till you mm -hmm. feel that. Okay. <laughs> my mama always said, if you can put it on the side mm -hmm. of the meatloaf, why don't you put it on the inside, inside of the meatloaf? Because really, when you serve something that looks oh. that good and tastes that good, your family's gonna talk. They're gonna have fun. You're gonna mm -hmm. enjoy it, and it's just absolutely delicious. Okay. And what was the meat again on this one, Chef Tony? That's a pork recipe. But again, mm -hmm. you can choose whatever you like. Can I so taste? you can uh, please oh, do. Okay, Freshly good. cooked. Very Tasting nice. is believing. If the chef tells you he cooks something and tells you not to taste it, run. <laughs> <laughs> now you I like what you said. If I like it, maybe go ahead and stuff it inside the meatloaf. That's exactly right. I can think of all kinds of things that are our favorites. Mac and cheese, one of the big ones. Mm -hmm. But maybe could I put like if I saute or uh, cooked a potato and maybe chop some up Absolutely. inside the center, the meat and the potatoes in one? There's one recipe in my book, it's called loaded potatoes. Ah. So it's mashed potatoes all loaded up that's on the inside. I like that idea, a loaded potato. A loaded potato. Je Chef Tony, you've been reading my mind. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get inside this one. I gotta show this off. Now this oh, is very special to me. Ice. This is my. This is actually my stuffing recipe for the holidays. Mm -hmm. So it's made with fresh sausage, rice, mushrooms, a little bit of, I think we put some asparagus in this one. I usually celery and onions, and it's loaded with Parmesan cheese. Mm -hmm. And then you make the meatball recipe that's in my cookbook. So you have the meatball and the stuffing and the rice, and it's absolutely delicious. <laughs> Well, clearance price, $12.96. We're not able to bring back the nonstick Miracle Meatloaf pan, not at this price. And on Easy Pay, you can try it for 30 days. If Absolutely. you don't love it, return it for just $6.48 on your credit card. Take your favorite fillings and stuff them inside the meatloaf. And can we show everyone how we go ahead and create that Miracle Meatloaf Absolutely. one more time? Absolutely, sure. It's what really we do? easy. That's, it's all about the way you created the pan. Let me take the stuffing out mm -hmm. so we can start from scratch. Okay. You take your meat recipe. You place it with the um, insert on, place it down inside. Then you take your cover. We're gonna reverse this around. You can see the divot side of this. When you press this into the meat, it'll make your cavity. If you like extra stuffing, massage it a little bit. Then take your favorite ingredients, place it on the top, add your meat, add the rest of your meat on top. We'll reverse this down. And once you press this on top, and that's it where our magic is, together. it brings the meat up, matches so it's not, well you saw none of these broke open. Mm -mm. Stuffing stays on the inside. And by the way, this is a loaf pan, so make cornbreads, monkey breads, and all kinds of stuff.